Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and to a new video. I'm sharing another what I eat in a day today with some easy everyday recipes. For breakfast, I made a raspberry chia pudding yogurt bowl. And as always, I have my favorite Alpro Greek style yogurt. And then as I said in a previous video, I've been making chia pudding in batches. I'll have the recipe for this one below, but it's basically blended raspberries, oat milk and vanilla extract. And then I soak the chia seeds in that. So I added a few tablespoons of that in with the yogurt as well as some strawberries, raspberries, and I also had half of a passion fruit left over. So I squeezed that over the other fruit and finished with some flaked almonds. I just find having these batches of chia pudding in clip top jars in the fridge so handy. They make for a really quick breakfast. It's good for on the go breakfasts too. Works in yogurt bowls like this with oats even in smoothies, but this is just a really refreshing light breakfast for the warmer months. The creamy yogurt with that flavorful raspberry chia pudding and the fresh fruit with the crunch of the flaked almonds is delicious. For lunch, I made a lemony butter bean and leek broth. This is something else that I've been meal prepping recently. So I started by really finely mincing two cloves of garlic. Then I heated a few tablespoons of olive oil in a pan on a medium heat, then added in the garlic and very lightly fried it off. I then trimmed a leek, peeled off the outer layer and just gave that a good wash and then sliced it up into even sized rings. Added those into the pan too and then trimmed two spring onions sliced those up and added them into the pan as well. Fried off the leeks and spring onions until they'd softened slightly. Then I poured in 800 ml of vegetable stock. I used two stock cubes for this. Then added in a whole tin of butter beans. Gave it all a really good stir together and then just increased the heat slightly. Seasoned with some salt and some ground black pepper. Added in a bay leaf, stirred it through again and left it to simmer gently. Then towards the end, I added in a large handful of fresh spinach leaves, stirred those in and then I grated it in the zest of a whole unwaxed lemon and squeezed in the juice of a whole lemon. Then roughly tore in a handful of fresh dill, gave it another good stir and just allowed the spinach to wilt down. Meanwhile, I toasted up some crusty rye bread and drizzled some olive oil over them once they were toasted, then had that with the broth. I kind of let it cool down to like a lukewarm temperature, which is actually really refreshing still on a warm day. I love soup all year round, but this is a very summer friendly light broth. The butter beans in it are great for protein and add some texture. The leeks also add a load of flavor and texture too. And it's made really fresh with the lemon zest, the juice and the dill. It comes together really easily and it's so, so delicious. This usually makes a couple of portions, but it is best when meal prepping to add the fresh spinach in when you're reheating the leftovers so it doesn't go too soggy. And with the warm crusty bread drizzled in olive oil and dipped into the broth, it's just all so good. For something in the afternoon, I blended together a whole frozen banana with half a scoop of my favorite vanilla protein powder, added in a splash of oat milk, around a tablespoon just to kind of bring it all together when it was blending. Basically banana and ice cream, which I haven't made in the longest time, but it's always nice on a warm day. Scooped it into a glass and then I took some vegan chocolate hazelnut spread and just drizzled that over the top of it. And lastly, added in a handful of strawberries, raspberries and blueberries. Usually my go-to afternoon snack is a matcha latte or iced matcha latte with something. I have it nearly every day, but this was a nice change. As I said, it was refreshing and the chocolate hazelnut spread with the berries on this was a great combination. Then for dinner, I made coconut lime tofu. For the tofu coating, I added a quarter of a cup of corn flour to a bowl along with a teaspoon of garlic powder a teaspoon of paprika, a good pinch of sea salt flakes, and a quarter of a teaspoon of ground black pepper. 
then just whisk that together to combine it. I had an extra large block of tofu, which I pressed really well so that it was nice and firm. I just sliced that in half down the middle lengthways and then placed both slices of the tofu in the bowl with the corn flour mix to coat them on all sides. I then heated some oil in a pan on a medium heat and put both of the coated pieces of tofu in the pan and just gently fried them off until nice and golden in color. And the corn flour had become a slightly crispy coating. Flipped it over on all sides until it had nicely browned and then I preheated my oven to 180 degrees Celsius. Removed the tofu from the pan and then sliced it up diagonally into even size strips and then placed them on a lined baking tray and put them in the oven to bake for around 20 minutes just to crisp them up a little more and to keep them warm. Meanwhile, I then made the coconut lime sauce by first really finely mincing up a white onion. I added that to the pan, which I'd cooked the tofu in with just a little more oil. Then I crushed, peeled and finely minced two cloves of garlic, added that in with the onion and then just turned them through the pan and cooked them down until the onion was nicely browned and had softened. I had also de-seeded and minced a red chili, so I added that in too. Added in a thumb of grated fresh ginger and turned it through the onion and the garlic. I next grated in the zest of two unwaxed limes, then poured in a can of full fat coconut milk and added in a tablespoon of vegan fish sauce. Gave that a really good stir together and then left that on a very gentle simmer. I then squeezed in the juice of two whole limes, finally chopped up some fresh coriander and scattered that in, then gave it a final stir through. I'd cooked up some basmati rice, so I plated that up, then removed the tofu from the oven and put that over the rice. Then I spooned over the coconut lime sauce you can run this through a sieve to catch the onions so it's a smoother sauce. I like a bit of both. I topped it with some more fresh coriander and some red chili and then I'd also steamed some tender stem broccoli so I added that on too. I've loved making tofu like this recently. It's crispy without having to breadcrumb coat it and completely deep fry it. It's flavorful with the paprika and the garlic powder alone, and then the coconut lime sauce pairs so well with it. It's creamy from the coconut, fresh and zingy with all of that lime zest and juice. It's got a little kick with the chili, just feels like a very fresh and healthy meal. Then for dessert, I'd cubed up some watermelon that, that needed using, had that with some strawberries, and then I'd made this sauce with some raspberries that also needed using, used a pestle and mortar to grind those down along with some fresh mint leaves from the garden. Then I squeezed in the juice of half a lime and added in a tablespoon of maple syrup mixed and ground that all together and then just spooned it over the fruit. Kind of like a fruity salad dressing for fruit, but it was so delicious and flavorful. This is definitely gonna be a regular snack or dessert for me over the summer. And that's it for what I ate this day. I hope you enjoyed this video. The recipes are below as always. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again very soon. Bye.